This is the Sony A7C. It's been like what? Three months now that I've been heavily using this camera. Like for both photography and videography, this is my main horse. And in this video, we're gonna talk about 13 reasons why I do believe that this camera is the best not in terms of feature, but for the money. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me put on the lens. Let's go. Roll that intro. Before anything else, I'd like to officially welcome you to my channel. Thank you for making it past the intro. If you are into cameras, gadgets, technologies, all that good stuff, please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet. In that case, you won't miss out on anything from this channel. By the way, allow me to take this time to thank you, yes, you, and everyone else who have been supporting this channel ever since. A couple of days ago, this channel hit 3,000 subscribers. Again and again, I cannot do it without your help and your support, so thank you very very much i believe we have greater things to achieve until the end of this year maybe 100k i don't know but yeah let's do that that being said let's dive right into the topic reason number one the sony a7c is a compact full frame camera i don't know if that's official or what but a lot of people say that the c in the a7c stands for compact and I personally agree with that. As a matter of fact, the form factor of this camera is one of the reasons why I decided to get this instead of the Sony a7 III. As some of you might know, I love my Sony a6400, primarily because it's small and portable. However, I really wanted a full frame sensor. With the a7C, I get to experience the best of both worlds, a full frame sensor on an APS-C body. How amazing is that? But you might be asking, am I having a hard time with the grip or something as most people do? So far, I don't have any problems with the grip of this camera. Probably because I have small hands too. I don't know. Otherwise, I can always buy a cage for it. But generally speaking, as far as the form factor is concerned, I'd say this is just perfect for me. By the way, I made an unboxing video of this camera. You can check that out on my channel. It was a whole long unboxing, ASMR unboxing of the Sony A7C. Hope you enjoyed that. Reason number two. The Sony A7C has a fully articulating screen. I used to like the flip up screen of the Sony A6400 to the point that I didn't want a flip side screen. But man, was I wrong. I think it was just a couple of days when I realized why the fully articulating screen is such a big deal for many people. It was in an instant that I realized the convenience and versatility it brings to content creators. May it be for a photo or video, I now prefer the fully articulating screen over the flip up screen. Overall, the fully articulating screen is just more comfortable and more usable in many situations or in most situations, I believe. Again, that is just my opinion. Reason number three, the Sony a7C has no video record limit. I don't know how you shoot your videos, but in my case, I shoot my talking head videos in one run as much as possible. Like no cuts, no buts. And to be honest, I think I mentioned this before, that for a 10 minute video, I typically shoot my A roll for like 30 minutes or so. Oh well. Hence, having a camera with no record limit is almost like a requirement for me. Maybe I just love the confidence and the freedom that as long as I have the battery and memory, I could just keep on recording. And speaking of battery, reason number four, the Sony a7C has an incredible battery life at least in my opinion. I don't have many points of comparison, but as to how I do things, I'm super happy with the battery life of this camera. With my A6400, one full battery is just for the A-roll. But with the A7C, one full battery can cover both the A-roll and the B-roll. In fact, there was one time that I had to do two videos in one weekend. It was such a very tight schedule. Like super tight that I couldn't even afford to charge my battery. Feeling like a pro. I actually thought of buying extra batteries to be honest. But to my surprise, the A7C came through for me. Like for real. So again, I cannot be happier with the battery life of this camera. Reason number five. The Sony a7C has an excellent autofocusing system. Well, probably this is not new to you anymore as Sony is known for its reliable autofocus. I have been using this for like three months now and honestly speaking, I am still amazed on how sensitive and responsive the autofocus is on this camera. I personally love that it has the eye and face tracking not just in photo mode but also in video mode. Yes, you heard it right. It has eye tracking even in video mode. How amazing is that? In addition, I also like that even in manual mode, I can set the focus by tapping the screen. How cool is that? I don't know if that's normal or something, but I never experienced that with my E6400. Reason number six, 
the Sony A7C is weather sealed. Not that I tried shooting under the rain or whatsoever, but same with it having no record limit, I love the confidence and the peace of mind this particular feature gives me. Reason number seven, the Sony A7C has the updated color science. This is actually not that big of a deal for me as I don't have bionic professional eyes to see colors in the deepest sense of things. But all I can say is for both photography and videography, the output straight out of this camera is already stunning. Like seriously spectacular. I like those words. Stunning, spectacular. Right? Okay. Especially if you get the proper exposure, white balance, and everything. Not to mention, of course, the picture profile Sony has to offer. Super duper amazing. Reason number eight. The Sony A7C has a microphone jack and a monitor output. At this day and age, having a camera that has a microphone jack is like a requirement already. Considering the fact, of course, that vlogging is widely happening all around the globe. Like for an easy and quick setup, it is very convenient to just mount a microphone on the camera and immediately film yourself. And guess what? With the A7C, not only you can do that, but you can also monitor yourself even while recording. Like thank you, Sony. Although I don't usually use it, but come on, it's still a bonus to have it there. But let me know in the comment section if you could use that or not. Reason number nine. The Sony A7C can shoot in glorious 4K. To some people, this isn't a big deal, but to me, it is. Just to share, I do most of my framing in post. Hence, higher resolution is always ideal for me. Another reason is the world is fast progressing. You know what I'm saying? Like we are seeing cameras with 6K or even 8K resolution already. I feel like sooner or later, 4K will just be like a minimum requirement or something. Maybe that's just me. And it might be a bummer that it only shoots 4K up to 30 frames per second, but don't stop the video yet because reason number 10, the Sony A7C can shoot 120 frames per second at 1080p. So ladies and gentlemen, yes, it does shoot in 4K, but it's also capable and reliable for that buttery slow-mo footage. Man, I love this camera. Reason number 11, the Sony A7C has tons of amazing lens options, not only from Sony, but also from third-party brands as well, like for real. As a matter of fact, I mentioned this before that buying a camera isn't the most difficult decision in life. But being content to just one or two lenses is. Because once you get to experience the Sony E-mount system, believe me, after a month or so, you'd find yourself looking and buying a bunch of lenses. Consciously and unconsciously. That sounds dangerous. Unconsciously. Anyway. Good thing I have a bunch of lens reviews already for the E-mount system. So yes, after buying a camera, go back to this channel and watch my other lens reviews. Shameless plug. By the way, this lens right here is the kit lens. Maybe we'll talk about this in some other video. Maybe. Maybe not. Reason number 12. The Sony A7C is great not just for photo, but also for video. Like I said, I am not a professional photographer or videographer, but I love doing both. Hence, it's a good thing that this camera has a generous 24 megapixels. How's that? So if you are planning to use this for paid photography gig, I am telling you, you are definitely covered. In addition, it has the five axis image stabilization. Hence, even using it handheld, the in-body image stabilization helps get rid of those annoying jitters in my videos. Good job, Sony. On top of that, this camera has the APS-C or the crop mode, which allows you to use your APS-C lenses on this full frame body. Super amazing. You would just have to expect, of course, the 1.5 crop factor. Other than that, outputs would be as great. And lastly, reason number 13. The Sony A7C is not that expensive. I am fully aware that full frame cameras are tad expensive. Like we all know that for sure. But get this, this camera is the cheapest amongst all the other Sony full frame cameras. Can you believe that? Of course, there are trade-offs or whatnot, but come on, there are a lot of improvements as well. Hence, for its price, I do believe that the Sony A7C may not be the best in terms of feature, but it's definitely the best value for money. Again, that is just my honest opinion. Finally, do I think this is the perfect camera? Well, as much as I love the Sony A7C, I must say that this camera is still far from perfection. I won't be dwelling on the negative things, but to just give you a few, it only has one SD card slot. 
Can you believe that? Although I haven't experienced fast being corrupted lately, but I do understand the importance and the advantage of having a dual card slot, especially for professional paid work. Like for real. Another thing that you'll hear from a lot of channels is, the Sony a7C has a downgraded viewfinder. Like when compared to other full frame cameras, it is indeed looks downgraded. However, as to how we do things, it is not that big of a deal for me. Like I don't usually use a viewfinder. But then again, to most people, especially photographer, it is kind of a big deal. All in all, with the good and the not so good things about this camera, do I still recommend this? If it somehow matters, yes, I strongly recommend this camera to anyone who are planning to go full frame. In fact, I honestly think that this is the best full frame camera to start with. It's not overkill, it's not oversized, and most importantly, it's not overpriced. But of course, if you have the budget, go buy two A7Cs. There you go folks, I am sure I wasn't able to cover everything. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section or we can connect on Instagram or on Facebook. As I end, if you're getting value from this video, please do like and subscribe for more not super technical but rather practical approach to gadgets and technologies. Until then, thank you for watching. As some of you might know, I love my Sony A6400 primarily because of its small of it small. <laughs> Maybe I just love the confidence and the freedom. Maybe I just love the confidence and the freedom that as long as I have the battery and memory, I could just keep recording. <laughs> Maybe I just love the confidence and the freedom that as long as I, that as long. With my A6400, one full battery is just for the A roll. But with me, well, as much as I love the Sony A7C, I must say that this is still far from, far from. <laughs>